All right, guys, welcome back for episode number 13 of our series where we are creating an entire app using Firebase, Flutter, and Block. And on today's episode, we're going to be focusing on cloud Firestore operation for creating our posts. So let's jump right into it. So remember, in the last episode, we've actually created the post model as well as the post entity and uh, fed our uh, post screen with uh, an actual uh, an actual post. So if I'm clearing that and navigate to the post creation screen, you'd see right here that we have our post, which doesn't have an ID yet. Uh, the post itself would be here, the time, and as well the user uh, that is creating the post. So now we want to be able to create the post as well as uh, getting the post. So let's create those methods right here, and then we'll create the block uh, according to that. So navigate to packages, post repository, close the lib, uh, post repository lib, source, Firebase post repository, and open as well post repository. Okay, so first the post repository, because remember it's the abstract class that we are implementing onto our Firebase post repository. So we want to create two uh, methods right here. We want to create the create post method and get post, post method. So let's start with the first one. So it's going to be a future of type void. We don't want to return anything, but you'll see we want to return something actually, but we will modify that later on. So future void, create post. I'm going to name it that, create post. And it's going to take a post as a parameter. Okay, so the post that we've created, post. And it's going to be synchronous, and that's going to be it. So now we're going to need to import our post, um, our post uh, model. Okay, so they are under models.dart. So that's basically that for the post, create post. And now we want as well to uh, not create post, but get post. And it's going to be a list of posts. Okay, so far, so good. And here, we don't want to have anything onto our, uh, our um, let's say, our method parameter, okay, right here. So he is not really happy about that. Uh, that's normal because we don't need that actually. Up and up right there. So perfect. So now we have two methods. So the create post that returns nothing but takes a post as a parameter, okay? And another method that's get post which actually returns a list of posts, okay? So now let's trick a little bit our create post method. So basically when we will be, so when, yeah, when we are on the home screen right here, we'll have our get post method that'll be triggered and we'll get the list of posts, okay? If we go to the create post screen and we create our post, we are gonna create a new document in the database and then this screen is going to be popped and will be displaying this home screen. But the new post that was added needs to be added to the list itself. Okay. And the thing is, we could on navigation back re trigger this get post method in order to re get all the posts, or we can here as well uh, 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 say that we want to return the new post that was created. Okay. So maybe we want to say that. Okay. So now let's implement those two methods. So right here, we can create the two overrides. Perfect. So our create post. So let's focus on that. Let's wrap everything inside a try catch. Remember, we've done that already. Uh, logging something if there is an exception by importing Dart developer. And if there is an exception, we are rethrowing it. So what we want to do here is say first that the method is asynchronous. Okay, perfect. And then what we want to do? Well, we want to actually create a new document inside the database. So remember, if we navigate to user repository, lib, source, Firebase user repository, and navigate to the very top, we see here that we have Firebase authentication, but we don't need that. But we can actually utilize this line here, this Firestore uh, uh, collection. So here at the very top of our file, we can say, that we first want to import Firebase storage, but we need to import it inside the perspect.yaml file. So we'll just take that right here. So 
inside our sorry our post repository level pospec.yaml file you'll import fi cloud firestore save that file so it's getting a pub get and then navigate back to do to your firebase post repository and import cloud storage uh, cloud, uh, cloud firestore sorry so here we are creating not a user collection but a post collection and naming our collection posts okay and so what is it going to do? So if we navigate to our uh, Firebase project here, we have a user collection where we have all of our different users. OK, so we are going to create another top level collection that will name posts. OK, and store all of our posts under this new created collection right there. What you would want to do, perhaps, is to as well create the post as a sub collection of the user that just created the post if you, for instance, want to display only the post that the user created, but you can as well do it differently with a top level collection. So that's what we're going to do. So what we want to do is create this uh, new uh, uh, document. OK, so what we'll say, we'll say post collection. OK, the one that we've just created dot document. And now we're going to paste the posts dot post ID. So creating a new document with the post ID um, yeah, the post ID uh, field and set that inside our database. And what, what type of data are we going to set? We're going to set post dot to entity dot to document. And we actually want to return our post. Okay. We want to return our post. And you might say, right, but we don't need to return the post because we didn't change anything inside this post that we are getting. We're just putting it inside the database. But remember here, you see what type of post we have. We have post ID. This will change uh, inside the screen, but this we need to set and this we need to reset to what is it, what's actually the time of the, the, the post. So here we want to say that the post ID post dot post ID is going to be equal to uid dot v1 and here it's going to not it's not going to be happy because we need to actually import uid so here you want to navigate to the pub.dev uh, website and type uid and this is this one and take that copy that and under your perspect.yaml file you will import UUID and the perspect.yaml file is under the post repository level, right? So once you've import that, you can navigate back to your Firebase post repository and import UUID. So perhaps I've done a mistake. Yeah, just like that. So that's cool. We have now an ID for our post and now we want to actually reset the create at by saying post dot create at is equal to date time dot now perfect and then here we're missing the await okay perfect and just like that we have something that's looking pretty good so we are when we are here on our creating a post uh, screen we are entering the post hello or whatever and then we are triggering this create post method which sets the post ID to a, a, a random ID right here in a random string, resetting our create at with the date time that now, and all of the other fields are already set. So the post field will be set by the text field right here. And the my user field is already set before and will come with the post here. And we are just in the new post collection, remember? in the document that correspond to the, UI, the, the ID that we just creating, setting the post that we are taking right here and returning the post that was updated. And so we can implement it inside our list view right here. So the create post is done. Let's do now the get post. So try catch, same logic for the catch right here. And so here it's a little different, right? We want to get a list of posts. So we want to access our post collection, okay, dot get, that's it. But then we'll have just a list here, if you can see, 
we're just going to have a future query snapshot and a map string dynamic and we don't want a map we want actually object so what you want to say it's after that and here you have query snapshots you want to say value dot docs so all the documents okay dot map sorry dot map okay and right here we want to say okay so we have here our map our, our, our query uh, document snapshot of type uh, map string dynamic okay and if we access e dot data you'll actually see that we have our map string dynamic so what we want to say is say post dot from entity post entity dot from document e dot data perfect and right here we want to say not right here perhaps right here uh, no because we want to actually return a list so we want to say return on the very top right here and perhaps it's here to list yes perfect and so now what we are doing we are getting all of the documents inside our post collection and after we have them we are parsing the basically the map string dynamic that we have inside all of those documents into posts object okay into the class post that we've created by exactly doing that and returning an entire list and that's pretty much it for our get post we can save that and now we're done for the firebase post repository so we can close all of those files and now let's just create very quick the different blocks that we want so under block create a new block and we're going to say um, post operations uh, yeah we will actually want to create two blocks okay we want to say create so let's say create a post okay so it's here block let me rename that create post block and we as well want to create so a new block get post and it's right here let me rename it get post block and so we have those two blocks right here create post block and get post block so let's start with create post block so we have that uh, let me just here add a new class that will say um, that we say create post okay and it's gonna take it's gonna sorry let, let's just up take extend it's gonna extend our create post events right here and so it takes as a parameter a post okay so let's create the constructor now let's say this dot post perfect let's import our post model by importing the post repository let's just say that this is constant and that's pretty much it for our uh, create post events okay so now let's create the state so now we have here the initial state but now we want to in to create three new states so let me delete all that sorry up uh, well sorry my bad up and so we'll have create post failure create post loading and create post success so here i'm not implementing um some sort of of infinite scrolling list where you're just going to get 20 documents on the database for example and when you're at the bottom of the list you're getting 20 more i'm just going to make it super simple and just getting all the documents at once it may be a problem if you have a big app uh, like a social media type of app you would want to do that perhaps if you're interested i can make an entire series on how to do exactly that and so here just remember create a post success here we actually want to have a parameter that it's going to be a post okay right there and so create post success it's right here this dot post perfect and that's going to be a constant so that's pretty much it for our uh, create post state now let's create the block so 
on on the event that's going to be create post remember it's the same every time uh type of structure if there is a problem we are emitting create post failure at the very beginning we are emitting create post you've guessed it loading and if everything goes right we are emitting create post success perfect and here you too you have an error because you are actually looking for um, a post here but here we need to access our post repository okay so now post repository post repository right here so we can have the same structure as we have on our uh, let's use my user block right here you know we are requiring a user repository right there and then implementing it to our um, uh, class parameter so we are going to do just that here so up required not a user repository but a post repository and then uh, telling that our post repository is equal to that it's going to be final sorry post repository is equal to here post repository a little comma and some indentation and we are good to go so here you have our post repository and inside our try right now we want to say post repository dot create post and giving him the event that was passed onto the event the create post event and so because we are interested in what this method has to return we can say that the post is equal to all that perfect and we need to make this method asynchronous and we can then return inside the create post success the post that was just created and we can save that and that's pretty much it for our create post block so now let's move on to our um, create post it's done so now let's move on our, our get post so let's get all of them open so get post event so basically same stuff get post get post um, up implement that perfect and now what we want inside the get post about here uh, we sorry it's not implement it's extend sorry um, get post do we need some parameter for the get post we do not need some parameter so we can just leave it as it is the get post state is going to be the same principle for uh, what it was for the create block so we are just going to do just that right here up so we have get post failure okay if something goes wrong get post loading and get post success and here on the get post success we actually want to have a list of posts posts so here you need to import the post repository as well and set the constructor of get post success to that perfect and make it a constant so that's pretty much it that's pretty much it for the get post state uh, as well as the uh, sorry get post event so now let's create our block so same logic here we need as well our post repository right here post repository and we are gonna say that it's required to give us a post repository inside the constructor and then we're gonna set our our, our block parameter post repository to the one that was just passed onto our constructor add a little comma and that's pretty much done so now we want to say well if the event is get post get posts we want to do a try catch and same logic here if there is a problem get post failure at the very beginning we want to say that it's getting the post loading perfect and inside here we want to do a very specific thing but in the end we want to return get post not failure but success it's expecting a list of posts so now we can say that our list of posts our post is equal to await remember it's asynchronous because we're dealing with futures so we need to make our method asynchronous 
but it's equal to await post repository dot get post. Just like that, we, after passing the post that we have, we're accessing the get post rep stuff that we've created, method that we've created. We can save that, and now we're pretty much good to go. So now we've created two blocks, one for creating a post, one for getting the post, okay? And now in the next episode, we are actually going to feed the UI with all of those blocks and those methods that we've created into the backend. So uh, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video, which will be uh, basically the end of this series. Uh, yeah, so see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.